Hi, I'm Tomek from Neon Sprints and I would like to give you a sneak peek into the Design Sprint roles. Did you ever have a situation where you were in a workshop and it took forever to actually make a decision? To get to a point where everybody said, yes, this is exactly what we need to do and move on and actually do it? If you had that situation, you will be very happy to learn that the design sprint has a built-in function to avoid these kind of situations. And that function is to have a person who is only there to make decisions, the so-called decider. This person's job is to make decisions based on everything that they've heard in the design sprint from the team members, from the experts, from anybody who was giving any input. This is not the person who's running the design sprint. That's the facilitator. This is the guy or girl who has the job of making sure that everything happens according to plan, one step after the other. And this person does not make decisions. Apart from the decider and the facilitator, there are a number of other people in a design sprint team and they are equally as important, but they do not have to make decisions on the one hand. On the other hand, they are not the ones responsible for running the process. They are there to give their input, to come up with ideas, to make sure that you have the best possible insight into the problem at hand. If you want to learn more about the roles that you need to have in a design sprint, then check out our video on how to make a successful design sprint team and what do you need to pay attention to in order to get best possible outcomes. Subscribe to our Neon YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet and check out our videos which we are posting regularly on everything about and around the design sprint.